I'm Shanae and this is my crazy family. Things are about to take an incredibly crazy twist as we embark on the next chapter of our family's journey. Join us as we take on the adventure of a lifetime and transplant the beach house a very, very long way from the beach. Today marks exactly two weeks until we leave town forever. Oh my God. <laughs> The countdown begins, and before anything else can happen, I must draw a cat. You want to see a cat? A cat? Yeah, a cat. Okay. Oh, that cat's got a really funny looking face. Sorry, baby. Oh, <gasps> it's a cat! So we found out that we were moving a, a couple weeks ago, but you know, there's a process involved in, in selling one's house. So we haven't felt completely comfortable to start moving. At least Josh hasn't felt completely comfortable, but I'm like, listen, this is happening and I don't want to leave packing until the last minute because it's going to give me way too much anxiety. So I have just slowly been chipping away, chipping away and packing boxes. Today, we're going to do just that. We're going to keep packing a couple more boxes. But first we need fuel. We need energy for the day ahead. And what better way to get energized than with pancakes? Yum, 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 yum. I think that was yum, yum, yum to the rhythm or melody of Twinkle Little Star. Done. It's done. We're fishing in. Really? Wow. Yeah. <gasps> Aww. Ooh. That's exciting. The final <laughs> contingency was just removed from our house, wasn't it? It was a very tiring experience. It was. Which means we're going to be riding horses, riding dirt bikes, <gasps> listening to high country five! music. Okay, I'll take that. Nashville, where we come? Pancake time! Da, 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 da. Josh Beach, finally stepping up his packing game. What do you mean, finally step? I am the packer. Uh, Ridiculous. Well, the boxes all over the house would beg to differ. They're saying, I was packed by Shanae. <laughs> Good luck trying to lift all those boxes into the truck. That's true. So we're doing Josh's jackets right now. So far, I'm just going to keep all of them. This one? You might want that in Nashville. Is it nice though? Try it on. I've got pink shorts on. <laughs> It'll go with your outfit. It's 116 really well. degrees here today. Not the best. Go suss it out. I have jackets like this. <laughs> But that's a memory. You it's have not a memory. That's like that's insurance. This is worth a lot of money. You wore that when you were walking in the Moschino Fashion Show on our first European trip, where technically we actually got engaged. That's right. In Milan. Previously, in another life, I was a big deal. <laughs> a big deal. A big runway model. That's a sick jacket. Yeah, I got that one for you. Yes, you did. Okay, so let's see. Oh wait, one oh, more. Raincoat. Oh yeah, love that. Love that, okay. love that. Okay, so it was a success. I got rid of two things that I'm probably actually not gonna get rid of. <laughs> yes! Mommy! Okay, one sec. She hates that noise. Oh. I'm packing my wigs. How many do you have? A lot. There's more in here. Well, you, I don't I like one you. of those weird dudes who didn't want to give up playing music. <laughs> do you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like someone's dad who just still living the dream of being in the band. I'm in the band, man. Do you think this is like a good one for Halloween? If I want to like be, be Britney be Spears. No, look, look. This one Britney was going through her like, what's she doing there? That's a classic Britney move. 
It's scary, really. <laughs> we have only 10 days before we hit the road with our lives in tow and we have not made nearly enough progress. All of these photos need to be taken off the walls and packed up individually. It's gonna be a lot of work. I'm not gonna wait for him to get home from working out. I'm just gonna get it done. And I'm gonna see how he feels when all of the photos are off the walls when he gets back from his workout. Sorry about it. It's gone straight to my heart. So long from here we depart. Like shadows on the ceiling. She sways. Making me really emotional. <laughs> you take all your stuff off the walls and it just becomes four walls again, you know? We're ready for the next chapter, but it is sad to say goodbye. Okay, now we're in Josh's office, which he has told me repeatedly is off limits for my packing habit, <laughs> where I just keep like, everything is disappearing because I just keep packing it up. But I can't keep waiting. We're, we're, we're gonna hit the road. So we gotta, we gotta get all this stuff off the walls. Taking all of my things off the wall. I've only been gone for about half an hour. <laughs> I said to Bobby the other day, if you sit still for too long, Mummy's gonna put you in a box. Okay, today's shit is getting really real. The shipping containers are coming. And so I'm gonna start the day by packing suitcases of things that are going to be loaded in the pickup truck with us as we drive across the country so I can just separate that stuff. Everything else is in a box. I know that this seems excessive, and if all goes according to plan, I really only need three weeks of clothing, but everything could go tits up at any moment, and then we could be with all of our stuff in storage for months. So, I like to be over prepared. Oh, I feel like my hair just kind of speaks for itself right now. We have been nonstop. I didn't realize how much we hadn't actually packed yet. <laughs> There's just so many things. Like every time you open a drawer or whatever, it's overwhelming and I've had to sneeze for like an hour and a half. <coughs> oh my God. Okay, I feel actually a lot better about life in general now that sneeze is out of my system. We have the entire kitchen to do because I still haven't done that. I think it's gonna be a big job, so I'm starting to get sweaty and anxious. <laughs> this is happening now. It's really happening. My car just got shipped. I hope I see it again. Oh my God, there it goes. I know, I should have filmed it, sorry about that. A lot on my mind right now, you know what I mean? <laughs> Pod number one has arrived. We have another one, a much larger one, showing up later today, but I'm a little bit concerned because this is like way smaller than I anticipated it being. Uh, we got a lot of stuff, so hopefully the bigger one is like significantly bigger. We've got a few guys we're helping us load up the pods, which is great because the two of us trying to do it on our own with Bowie would just be absolute mayhem. It was already crazy enough packing on our own, so that's why I have a mask on. And um, yeah, it's really happening. The pod is completely full. It's just been closed up. And it's stacked to the brim with boxes, but we still have a few here and we haven't even touched furniture yet so starting to panic trying not to panic the one we have coming is about twice the size of that one and uh we still have an entire house full of furniture to get in there so i just don't know i just don't know they can't get another pod dropped off here to be filled up until monday and we're leaving Sunday morning. I don't want to stress out or panic about it until like shit is literally hitting the fan and then I'll, I'll just go into like resolution mode and try and figure out how we're gonna deal with it but yeah. 
been a long day for daddy, so Bowie's giving him a nice little facial. Time check. What is it? It's like 8.30 now. It's like 8.22. Still no pod number two to load up. What if the pod doesn't come? What are we going to do? Stay. <laughs> Just stay. <laughs> Never mind. Hey, people buying our house. The pod um, will come if the pod doesn't come. Then we'll just have to, I don't know. Anyway, they said between seven and 10 and it's half past eight. It's 9.20. The window of hours for them to arrive is until 10. We're only 40 minutes away from that. And there is no sign of a shipping container. Are you stressed yet? No. <laughs> we have to come up with some sort of plan because all of our stuff's wrapped in cling film. On our front lawn. It's fine. We'll be fine. We're fine. Am it's I convincing? <laughs> Am I convincing enough? Oh, here it actually is. No, it isn't. Only check. Oh my god. <laughs> oh wait, actually no, is it? Look. No, it's not. Let me check it. What the fuck? Okay. Well, they didn't come. Never came, so we had to send the movers home for the night, obviously. And we have no idea what we're gonna do, but we're gonna figure it out in the morning when their customer service office is open and hope for the best. It's 7.30. I just got a phone call that yeah, the pod that. will be arriving any moment. Cool. Now we have Two, no movers. Like Don't think I'm gonna be able to get last minute movers to load up this pod in the next Hour. So we're gonna have to try our best ourselves But like we're not professional movers, so we don't know how to stack furniture and stuff And we got a lot of furniture to shove into that container. So I really don't know what's gonna happen I didn't wash my face last night And there was also an earthquake at 1130. So, you know <laughs> It's all going really well ah! Still no pod Okay, we got the pod and we did get professional movers. The beach movers are in the house. <laughs> and uh, this is how they test the, checking the, height. the load bearing capacity of no, furniture. That's, load that's height. Oh, height. Yeah. That's how they check the height of furniture. They just plank on it <laughs> instead of using a tape measure. Thank God for T.O. Victor saving the day and helping us. One, two, three. Oh, hold on. Okay. Okay. This could take a while. Okay, it's 8.30 and I still haven't washed my face, but we just got the best news ever. There are movers available. Mike from Father and Son Movers is stepping in to save the day. He's going to have a team here within the hour to help us load this truck whatever you call it container i can't even think anymore i'm so tired i could cry i'm so happy so thank you to father and son movers for stepping up and saving the day we will see. let's see what happens josh is very skeptical at this point i need to wash my face Tio Victor is relieved because he doesn't need to carry any more tables. Oh, did you tell them there was an earthquake last night? I did tell them there was an earthquake last night. Let's it's go, a shit show go, over go, here. Let's go, let's go, let's go. It's a shit show and we're going to Starbucks. Yeah. Good news is the movers came. Bad news is our shit did not fit in the pod. But there is good news to follow that bad news, which is that Pods was able to find another large container to send us today to finish loading up. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. Having a baby, getting divorced, and moving that are supposed to be like the three most stressful circumstances in your life. And uh, I can validate that moving is in fact, yes, an extremely stressful life event. But the payoff is gonna be great because we are very much looking forward to where we're going. So we just gotta get there. Ooh, ooh. The first pod is getting picked up. So the other pod has just showed up. Unbelievable. The plan might be coming together once uh, they've all been picked up. We'll obviously start the complaints. I just didn't wanna do it now because they'll probably just lose our shit, won't they? 
<laughs> the movers just left. We got nothing left in this house. And I'm not even joking you, they walked out the door three minutes ago and Pods just showed up three and a half hours early, I was gonna say four, three and a half hours early to pick up one of the pods that they just finished packing. But luckily, again, father and son movers, I don't know if they're like nationwide, but if you're local in LA, they came in so clutch, they saved the day, like truly saved the day. Timing seems to be on our side again, um, and hopefully the rest of this move. <laughs> goes a little more smoothly than the last 24 hours did. But we did it, Bo! Bowie's little blow-up mattress. <laughs> Josh and I just bought one for tonight because we had nothing left to sleep on. Because this is the current state of our bedroom. I'm the same. Yeah? Oh my oh, gosh! Say bye stuff! Bye. bye all of our stuff! Oh my gosh, bye stuff! Bye, stuff. Bye, stuff. Mom, mom. See you in Asheville. <gasps> no, you won't. See us on the road. No, see that stuff in Nashville. We better see it in Nashville. Last night in the beach house, sleeping on the air mattress. It's really wobbly, isn't it? It's like a water bed. <sighs> <laughs> this is it. Mm -hmm. Last sleep. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? I'm ready for the next chapter. Mm -hmm. I'm ready for a fucking crazy few weeks before the next chapter starts. How are we going to sleep on this all night though? I definitely don't want to go camping again. I've never been camping. I don't want to start. That air bed life is not for me. I think it's almost worse when it's high up. Yeah, because it feels very like risky. You lived a very sheltered life, haven't you? This is risky. <laughs> <laughs> you slept on my mattress once. Wow! Love you. Love you. Love this house. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? I'm half asleep. I don't know what I said. <laughs> Bye. I'll see you in the morning. Yeah. Got my Hollywood Misfit shirt on from when Josh and I had a t-shirt and jewelry brand. Felt like that was a very appropriate outfit to be wearing as we drive out of LA for the last time. Bowie's got Minnie Mouse in tow with her little Lakers jersey on. Lakers, yeah. <laughs> Are you ready to hit the road, baby? Yes. <laughs> yeah. um, what's daddy wearing? Yeah. Vintage Lakers tee. Gotta love it. Alright, let's say goodbye to this house. We see our sunlight. Home is where we were. Home is where we want to be. And yes, we don't have time to say goodbye. And this. We'll miss you, LA. The last time.